1999 is when my husband had his first heart attack. There was so much time between him driving where he was to find a hospital to going into the hospital. There was so much damage done that he had a massive heart attack and died two times. Miraculously, they, they pulled him through and he survived. His spirit was amazing. I, I, he was an amazing person. He played music, he was a drummer, and he couldn't drum anymore couldn't work anymore and he was a week so we came back to Omaha because our family was here he started along with several other people here at the Hot Shops a film festival for amateurs and that it, I mean that was became his passion most of the time when you go to an art gallery not that there's anything against them um, but it's a finished product it's done they're showing it obviously they're proud of it and but you don't see from point A to point B. I mean, there's not very many places you can go where you'd actually see the potter sitting at the wheel. It's a labor of love. Ed always said that the creativity, if you just sit real still and listen, you'll hear it all around you, which I thought was a very ingenious little statement. But he was talking about if you sit quiet enough, you're going to hear the wheel squeaking, you're going to hear the kiln shutting, you're going to hear the gas and the, you know, if you just sit still long enough, you will, you'll hear it. And it is true. He could come here and he would have a purpose and he would have a reason to get up in the morning. This place made that person so much better. This, this place, the Hot Shops, created a wonderful person. <laughs> to the point where we'd get in arguments because he'd spend our anniversary, my birthday, at the hot shops. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, it, but it, it, he glowed. It's more than a building. It's the people. They never let him give up. And it wasn't the hospital. It wasn't a, it wasn't a medical center that did that. It was a place full of real people, of real talent, of, and amazingly enough, I do believe that artists' minds work in a different way, and they can pull out of people things that people don't even know they have inside themselves. It gave yes. Ed a, a life. He, it gave him 12 years of fulfillment that I don't think he would have had without this place. And when it passed, oh my gosh, thank God for the hot shops. Thank God for the hot shops because truly um, there were people in my own family who didn't know how to react to me and didn't know how to treat me and didn't know what to say? Really, what do you say? There's nothing to say. It takes months and months before you're able to even absorb what went on. But, um, I mean, the people here, like, they just jumped in. They, they, there was nothing that was too much to ask of them. I mean, they almost um, intercepted my thoughts and, like, had it to me before um, I could even ask for it. And I, there was no place else that I found that. You feel safe. You, you give yourself up where a lot of the times you're very on guard. In most cir circumstances, at least I have found, that shortly after the death, and you're really on guard because you're uncertain. And there was never that feeling, never, no. never. And Ed was, he loved this place. Mm -hmm. He loved it. Yeah, I don't think you can replace, you can't replace them. And it's a huge loss. I mean, it's an amazing loss. The experiences and what we did in this place, it's forever. I mean, I got it. And I, it, I just, amazing is the word I keep using, but it is to me because the memories don't go away. Yeah.